I hope everyone has uh, filled the Google Forms. If anyone is facing any difficulty, do ping me on WhatsApp. We'll wait for a minute or so and then start. Everyone's requested to keep their videos on and mics off. And yeah, do subscribe to Namisa's channel as well. We're having the YouTube live there. Hey, class, class, okay. Sorry for the delay. Some team is uh, in the middle of their payment procedure. So let's wait for them uh, for a few minutes. Till then, if anyone has any query about the Google form or any problem, just uh, switch on your mic and uh, tell me if uh, you're facing any problem or not. So you guys, some participants are joining in the last moment.
It's uh, six thirty-seven now. We'll start at six forty sharp. So sorry for the delay. If anyone has any problem or any issue, please sort it out, because we won't wait a wait for a minute more at six forty. And yeah, at the same time, please uh, note down your answers that you are putting in the Google form on a sheet of paper. So as to uh, if there's any problem while submitting, you can send me a snap of that answer sheet on WhatsApp for me to check it. Yeah, I can resend it again. Can anyone please tell me from which option we have to connect our audio from the first option uh, call through internet or uh, the second option dial in? No need to connect to your audio, just uh, switch on your videos. Audio should be off. If any problem, any query, then you can just send it the send in your queries in the chat box. Yes, yes, sir. But uh, in which uh, way we have to do call in uh, call through internet or uh, dial in? Call over, sir, done. call over internet sir, is the basic way to connect to the audio. Yes, sir. I have done uh, that one also. Yeah. But I am not sure about that. Thank you, sir. So welcome one and all to uh, a never ending hope, the open gen quiz organized by Project Rahat as a fundraising drive. Uh, can we move on to the next slide? Uh, before starting, I'd like to thank uh, a few people. Abhinav Bhaya for uh, setting up a few questions for me, Pyle for handling the financial stuff, Ashwa and uh, Abhishek for guinea pigging and uh, also controlling today's prelims, Nambi sir for helping with the technical stuffs and live streaming, and Project Rahat for giving me this opportunity. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so we have 20 questions in all, each question worth uh, one point. In case of uh, two part answers, the segregation is half a point each. So 20 points in all. Question 11 to 15 are uh, star mark to dissolve ties, if any. No negatives, so feel free to guess. and. Uh, just like save water, save data. So say no to Google. Anyways, uh, I guess uh, there's no problem uh, anyone's facing regarding the Google form submission or uh, signing in the Google form. So yeah, can we move on to the first question? The entire incident is based on a wife's suspicion on her husband's extramarital affairs, though vigilant, uh, Whenever she was about to catch him, a minor female nature DT distracted her with lengthy conversations. When at last the wife realized the truth, she cursed the DT. And from that moment on, the once loquacious DT could only repeat the most recently spoken words of another person. Therefore, after the curse, she could only speak only if someone spoke to her and the word she could speak was exactly the words that the person said her. So who was this deity? 
and uh, in order to work out with the answer just read the last line properly you might uh, end up at the answer she could not speak on a normal note after the curse and she could only speak if a person spoke to her and the words that came out of her mouth would usually be the words that the person spoke to her recently so she used to repeat apart from that she couldn't speak on her own and that also led to some personal loss of her as she was unable to convey uh, her love proposal to the loved one so who is this nature deity or specifically who is this lymph moving to question 2 the name of uh, the good one is adapted from a greek word meaning sunset or death whereas the one considered bad was mentioned in a filipino idiom used as an exclamation of disappointment or chastisement so who are we talking about or where will you find both the good and the bad on a general note so i'm looking for two characters that proved something to be profitable at the end moments and one whose name comes from uh, the greek word meaning sunset or death whereas the other whose uh, name has been included in a idiom usually representing disappointment by the filipino catholics would you repeat what did you say about the prophetic uh, both the person i'm looking for both the subjects i'm talking about had proved something that something was prophetic at the end moments of their life uh whoever is doing this please uh, stop so either tell me who am i talking about or where will you normally come across them so you want both or only one it's uh, all given so you need to answer only one in fact if you know who am i talking about you can easily guess where will you find and uh, the per in the first part where i'm asking for who are we talking about there are two names i want both the names in that case and or if you can explain where will you find them that's also okay answer any one the first part has uh, two answers to be given or if you write the second part then you'll have to explain a bit a sentence also Uh, moving to the third question now the earliest recorded use of this scheme comes from 1725 when the name of the biblical when the name of the biblical founder of israel who ruled from 19 uh, 931 to 910 bc was used this usage was probably because he is referred to as a man of great worth Many sources mention a Champenois poet of Middle Ages, Eugene Dosh, whose poems were popular and inspired his town folk to use this scheme. So, what scheme or what uh, convention am I talking about? Basically, this is the origin or the historical background of a certain convention that might have arise from uh, that might have arose from a biblical founder's name, who was the biblical founder of Israel. all from uh, 
the pain from the literary works of a poet named Eugene Dosh. So I'm looking for a convention whose origins have been mentioned in the question. So what convention or what scheme of nomenclature basically am I talking about? Moving to the fourth question. Okay, so if you look at the image carefully, then uh, what household item comes to your mind? Basically, this is a, a flower that shares its name with a certain household commodity or household good. So just tell me what household commodity comes to your mind when you look at this picture. In fact, the name of this plug is uh, also on that household commodity. As mentioned in the question, both of them have the share the same name. In fact, I'm looking for a two word answer, but you can also give me a one worded generic term for the household term or the household item. Moving to the fifth question, question number five. Now, this concept found its first ever literary mentions in the third largest best-selling novel of uh, 1890s, where it was used as a term for 11 times, though indicating something else of the current world or present world. One of its currently present visible elements was created in 1952 to avoid smudging and smearing at gasoline stations. So what concept or term am I looking for? And what element, what visible element that one can see currently as well? If you just uh, know what term or what uh, concept I'm looking for and go and check it, you'll find that element which traces its origins from uh, having been created on the back of a hotel napkin. Basically the element is said to have been created in such a way so as to avoid merging and smearing while using that item or term in the gasoline stations. Currently, the concept that the book mentions is used in some other field, basically some in another meaning, an alternate meaning in current world. So what concept or term is this and what element that uh, was created to avoid smudging and smearing at gasoline stations? My I hope uh, you guys are uh, simultaneously noting down the answers on a sheet of paper as well as on the Google Forms. And please be careful while uh, the order should not uh, be incorrect, otherwise, you'll mess up with all the answers in fact. And uh, we can't help it, even if your answer for question number five is correct, but you have filled it in question. We can't give you marks on that. And we'll request uh, everyone to please uh, keep their videos on. Okay, moving to the next question. Now, can we move on to the next question? So one of the earliest known usage of this symbol was to mark the trees that were to be used for ship building. 
the Massachusetts Charter contained a mast preservation clause specifying the attributes of the symbol in 1691. In Australia, it was interpreted in a different way and thus used this symbol and thus the Australians used this symbol for convict clothing during early period of transportation as government issued uniforms were there. Similarly, it has been this symbol is used for a very specific purpose or symbolizing something in India. So what does this symbol symbolize in India? What is the symbol's significance in Indian context? Moving to the next question, question number seven. Compared to 2016, call volume has uh, risen more than 30% and Facebook engagement is three times higher. The number of visitors increased from three lakh to four lakh. In the subsequent months, and uh, the call volume reached its second highest value on the day of the release. After the conclusion of a 2017 award ceremony and due to a performance, the organization experienced a 50% surge on their hotline from the next day. So therefore, what reason was cited for such a humongous rise in calls? So the organization I'm looking for is basically a non-profitable organization working for the welfare of people. I don't need the name of the organization. I basically need a what reason was cited by the director of the organization for such humongous increase in the calls and online activity after the release of something in 2017, which in fact uh, has some direct connection in terms of naming and all with this organization. Moving to the next question, question eight. Designed by Roy J. Joelman in uh, 1915, it was named the tunnel due to its shape and was curved at the top to prevent water from collecting. The hinged door would snap shut to keep its content safe and dry. The signature detail was the bright red flag on the side of the tunnel, flicked upwards to indicate incoming or outgoing. So what is being described over here? The structure of something is being described that was designed by Roy J. Jolman in 1915. And owing to its shape, it was called the tunnel because it had a tunnel-like shape and there's a red flag. And the shape or structure is in such a way so that water doesn't spoil or affect the things kept inside. So what is being talked about? Uh, do you need the location of the uh, Sorry, I didn't get you. Do you need the location of where it is located? Or, uh, you just need that thing? I need, I need, I mean, the, uh, there's the nothing location. about, there's nothing about the location here. Okay. It is uh, basically an object I'm talking about. Moving to the next question, question number nine. The Maharana's community is divided into seven categories, each specializing in a craft associated with the final construction passed through generations, namely the Mukhya Maharana, which is the chief engineers, 
Bodai Mahagana carpenters, Rupkas, cutters and wood carvers, Chitraka painters, Kamala, ironsmiths, Daraji, uplick tailors, and Bhoi assemblers. It is an all male into rich. Last year it was an 18 member team, all of them clad in dhoti and gamcha during the service. The codes of purity are strict, such as abstinence from non veg food, alcohol, and sex. So what is this group responsible for that takes up nearly two months of their time? So this is a particular community that is responsible, that has been bestowed upon by a responsibility, which has certain regulations and uh, that affects their personal life as well and takes two months of their time. Moving to the 10th question. This is the 7th June 1973 Peanuts comic. The blanked out words are two words from a three worded title of a spiritual self-help book in which the titular character gets bored of the monotony of the everyday and various metaphors for flight. I just want you to fill the two words. A three word title of a spiritual book out of which Two have been blanked out. Just fill them from with the help of this uh, Peanuts comic strip of 7th June 19, 1973. And the titular character was bored of various metaphors for flight and thus the name of the After this, uh, question 11 to 15 are uh, star mark to dissolve the ties, if any. So try answering uh, maximum star marks correct. Uh, can we move on to the next question? First star mark question, question number 11. The combination of signs and puns has always set the internet on fire and reached heights of virality. Adapted song lyrics and addition of humorous elements by the academics has been a matter of amusement since ages. One such instance is about a paper that was based on dimorphic fungal pathogens. The title of the study kick-started a thread as a result of which other research papers followed the same nomenclature convention and came up with funny titles. And this particular research paper about pathogens gained some 48,200 likes and 15,000 retweets due to its name. So, what is the name or title of the research paper? So I'm looking for the title of a research paper. If no one's blocking hints, then uh, I would like to to block the hint. Okay. Moving to the next star mark question, question number twelve. In an October issue, the weekly newspaper. ET Wealth had an article on financial learnings from someone's life. 10 learnings were listed, some of which include don't let ego dictate your decisions. His big ego was the cause of his downfall. Knowledge is power. He was in fact a powerhouse of Vedic knowledge. Don't trust family blindly. Was betrayed by his own brother. Hard work is important. 
he did tapasya for thousands of years to appease lord shiva and one must have diversified interests that is he was multifaceted excelling in arts music diplomacy and politics so these were the financial learnings for from who's life so the newspaper was trying to draw parallels from someone's life and financial learnings so who's life was being shown up here moving to the third question third star mark question question number 13 if animal blood is applied excessively however its iron oxide can compromise the lime binder strength historical citations exist where pig's blood was used to create a particular color that could tolerate the ravages of humid climate another possible explanation for using the mixture rather than a single component was to diffuse political tensions and symbolize harmony so these are the plausible explanations for choosing the mixture and using it rather than a single component so what are these trying to explain what are these the reasons behind one being to fight the humid climate and the other to diffuse political tensions and symbolize harmony moving to question number 14 the penalty met star mark question these visibly optical deformities are caused purely because of release of gases the large ones are because of lactic acid and the smaller ones in a different variant are because of citrate fermentation the pressure built up because of the chemical reaction and a rupture occurs causing these deformities so i'm looking for some deformities the reasons given uh, release of gases lactic acid citrate citrate fermentation and so on and so forth so these are basically deformity these deformities have turned out to be the identity of something due to a childhood habit of having been see, seeing that item in that particular form only so what are these deformities or where will you come across these deformities now we have been acquainted since childhood to see that material in such a form with these deformities so i'm uh, so what are these deformities basically called specifically i'm looking for where would you come across or where would you see these deformities moving to the final uh, star mark question question number 15 various initiatives were taken in uh, a scottish village to reduce the rate of fatalities caused due to reckless driving the police launched operation sidar to monitor road traffic incidents within the northeast area which had no impact on the village therefore the residents also buckled up to solve this issue on their own in the process they have put up ladders to allow children safe passage between back gardens instead of waving them to the road adding to that they have also come up with an innovative idea which involves the use of a electro mechanical device invented in 1890 by a french stylist so what device do they are they using or were they using to solve the problem of reckless driving or maintain traffic and the device has been invented by a french stylist
moving to question number 16 here are the star mark questions and okay something from anime connect these two anime characters i guess uh, you know who they are but i want a connection between them with a word which means sunflower so there's a one word connect between them that means sunflower i just want that word i don't need you to identify who these who they are but i just want need a uh, one word connect between them that means sunflower either give me the connect explain it or give me the word and uh, that's also fine Uh, please fill the google forms accordingly and keep a track of your answers so that uh, you can send me the snap if uh, something wrong happens with filling the google form moving on to the next question question number 17 located in a constellation whose latin name translates to hunting dogs this bard spiral galaxy has a somewhat more interesting and intriguing name the reason for this is a little new, unclear for this partial view which shows the bright central region but the galaxy is actually shaped like a elongated object stretching out through space until it curls around at one end so the description is given thus looking similar to a sporting equipment moreover looking from the reverse direction reveals that it resembles another tool having some mentions in william shakespeare's romeo and juliet so basically there's a image slide can we move on to the image slide <coughs> yeah so this is the constellation looks from two different side two different perspectives you can see at the end it's bent giving it a giving it a name similar to that of a sporting tool and in other case it uh, looks like a tool that had of that had regular mentions in william shakespeare's uh, romeo and juliet so i want two parts there are two parts half a point each so what are the informal names of this galaxy there are two names i just want both of them a sporting okay, equipment okay let me show the question i can we move back move back to the question moving to question number 18 a term for social media peacocking defined a posting defi defined as posting a video picture or selfie to public social media purely for a love interest to see is taken from the surname of the titular character of a 1925 book who is known to throw wild extravagant parties in the hopes of gaining daisies the love interests attention what 1925 books gives its name to such a trend basically it happens nowadays as well we post stories pictures videos etc and etc for someone we actually want them to see so this trend has been given a name from a titular character for 1925 book who also did the same by throwing extravagant parties so as to gain his love interests attention so what 1925 book gives its name to this trend uh, it was uh, the easiest of the slot Okay can we move on to the penultimate question question number 
Yeah. This contest was organized after a picture from a Christmas tree made by Rositsa Tashkova went viral in 2014. The 2015 edition covered 85 uh, submissions, of which the art created by Mehmet Bergman and Maria Penel called Neurons won the first place. The 2019 edition brought in 347 entries across categories for professionals, makers, and kids. However, the question being, there's something peculiar or unique about the material or the base used to create and submit the artworks for this contest. So what material or what will what is used as the base for creation of the artworks that are submitted to this contest? I'm just looking for the base material or the base on which the artwork is carried out, on which the painting or the drawing is done. So. <clears throat> yeah, after completion of the 20th question, we'll uh, have a quick go through to all the questions and we'll give you a window of some uh, two to three minutes to submit the Google Forms, after which the submissions will be closed. So moving on to the final question of today's uh, films. The animators of The Simpsons experimented with uh, digital ink and paint making it the first episode of the series to be animated using the process since season seven's Radioactive Man, said to have received generally positive reviews from critics with particular praise for its guest stars. The episode's title is a parody of another American sitcom. So uh, to be specific, this is the 12th episode of the 12th season of The Simpsons. So it has been used as a parody. The title of the this episode is a parody of another American sitcom. So what is the name of this episode? And the guests belong to a particular uh, sporting fraternity, basically. And the unique thing about this episode being, it uh, was the second episode that where well, they use the digital ink and paint making formula, which was lastly used in season seven's Radioactive Man. So what is the name of this episode, which is a parody of another American sitcom? <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, quickly go back to all the questions. Question number 20 was uh, the name of the episode that is a parody of an American sitcom. 19, what is so peculiar or unique about the base with which the artwork is created and submitted for this contest? Uh, Abhishek, a bit slow. Question 18, no, go back to question 18. So a 1925 book giving its name to a certain trend. I want the name of the book. Question number 17. The galaxy looking uh, for a sporting equipment and a tool. Sporting equipment. Uh, so if you, you could easily guess the sporting equipment from uh, the description basically. Curved at one end and the tool as uh, been often mentioned in Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Question 16. So I want a one word connect between these two anime characters and that word means sunflower. Question 15. So what uh, electromechanical mechanical device invented by a French stylist in 1890 was used as an innovative idea to manage traffic problems and reckless driving in a Scottish village. Question 14. So what are these deformities called or where will you find these deformities? Reasons being lactic acid, citrate fermentation, so on and so forth. But uh, we have been uh, 
acquainted to see the object where these deformities are formed in that form itself because of our childhood habit. So these are the star mark question 15, 14, 13. So animal blood is applied excessively to <coughs> protect uh, for as protection against humid climate and uh, the mixture was used to diffuse political tension and symbolize harmony. So these are the two plausible explanations of what? Question number 12. So financial learnings from whose life? Again, uh, give away with the, the description being so easy. Question number 11. So what is the title of the paper that kickstarted a thread of other funny titles as well and uh, gained some 48,200 likes and 15,000 retweets. A funny title, I'm looking for a funny title. Question number 10. So what two worded term is uh, missing from here? Yeah, did you give any hints? Just confirm. Uh, the hint being spiritual and self-help book is the biggest hint if you can make it out from it. Otherwise, any other hint would be quite factual and a giveaway. Easy to Google it. Right? Question number nine. So what uh, particular task has been associated with this community since ages and takes two months of their time? <coughs> Question eight. So what object is this? Whose structure has been designed, described and was designed by Roy J. Joelman in 1915. Question uh, seven. So why was uh, there a sudden rise in calls at a non-profit organization? And uh, it was because of something that happened in 2017 and 50% surge on the hotline after uh, 2017 award ceremony due to the performance of uh, something as well. So what reason was thus cited for such a humongous rise? Question uh, six, where would you come across this symbol in India, which has different meanings in different parts of the world? Question five, what concept or term am I talking about? That, has, that was mentioned in uh, one of the best-selling novels of 1890s, where it was mentioned as a term for 11 times. And what element, which uh, was created on the back of a napkin and basically was created to avoid smudging and smearing or added to the concept to avoid smudging and smearing at gasoline stations. Question four. What household commodity comes to your mind when you look at the picture of this plot? Question three. The scheme that uh, traces its origins with two instances, one being using the name of the biblical founder of Israel and the other being the poems of a middle-aged age poet and thus a convention emerged. So what convention or what? Is the, uh, is the name of this guy Eugene Deyush helpful? Just... In fact, his poems are. Question number two. I'm looking for a, a good guy and a bad guy. 
one associated with sunset or death in terms of literal meaning and the other with disappointment or chastisement in a Filipino idiom. Either tell me who the good guy and bad guy are or where will you find both of them? The question number one. A wife's suspicion on a husband's extramarital affairs a curse that led to someone's loquacious nature dying and making her to speak only when someone speaks to her. And the words that she could speak was, in fact, the word she heard recently. So I guess there's no problem now. Now you can just uh, submit. It's nine. It's seven twenty-three. We'll be closing the window at seven twenty-seven. Four minutes to there. So you can just fill in the Google forms, submit in your answers. Or if someone has doubts, please uh, just go to question two once, please. Just once. Okay. Can we move on to question two? Okay, so yeah, can we move on to the cover page itself, Abhishek? So, guys, this was the films. Please uh, submit your Google forms, and if someone's facing any difficulty, then just share the snap you have mentioned in your paper to me the, by the WhatsApp number. I guess you have it. We'll be closing the responses uh, in uh, some three minutes from now. Sahil, after closing the forms, you can also share the answers, probably discuss it with the participants here. Okay, we can discuss, uh, but uh, yeah, but we don't have the answer slides there. Anyways, we'll discuss. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll, probably if we uh, run through questions. If anyone wants to uh, join in in the answer session, they can be there after submitting the answers. If you want to know the answers. And yeah, we'll be selecting the top eight from today's prelims for tomorrow's finale. And, uh, and if you like the questions, then do contribute some amount to Project Rahat to the numbers given. After all, it's for a good cause. In a minute, the Google Forms will be closed. Anyone's facing any problem while submitting the Google Forms?
Yeah, so it's times up. Uh, if uh, someone hasn't filled up or submitted the Google form, please tell me. We'll wait for a minute or so. So yeah, closing the responses and the responses are closed. No more responses to be accepted. So yeah, let's uh, discuss the answers. Is anyone there who hasn't submitted the Google form till now? Okay, so I'll take it as a yes that everyone has submitted. Okay, so let's discuss the answers. You can uh, <coughs> keep your videos off and uh, just mics on to give me the answers. Question number one. Anyone echo. would like to try? Perfect. Echo. It's echo. Echo. Question number two. No, DT to echo. Who are we talking about, or where will you find uh, the good and the bad guy? I think they are on the side of Jesus Christ. And who are they? These are the pertinent Justus and the impertinent thieves, Jesters and Dismas. The those were crucified oh. along with Jesus. Question number three. What convention am I talking about? In the Julian calendar. Is it like no? A for apple, B for ball? That. No. It's, uh, yeah. Is it some sort of calendar? Like a Julian calendar? Nothing to do with the calendar. Nothing to do with the calendar. Okay. Nothing to do with the naming of months, basically. So this was uh, the nomenclature scheme for naming of wine bottles. Question number four. It's a lady slipper. Slipper. Yeah, slipper. Lady slipper orchid. The lady slipper orchid. Question number five. What concept or term? Understand. And what element? Element as in this, uh, I guess, if you mistook element to be something scientific, then I'm sorry, it's nothing to do with scientific things. This Fido Dido. Sorry? Dido Dido, the seven up mascot was created on a napkin. No. Yeah, that's also a napkin concept, but no. Okay, this is uh, the concept of the term, the concept of credit cards. And this is the Farrington B font that is present on credit cards, which came up on the back of a napkin, basically, that was designed on the back of a napkin. Question number six. Uh, what does this sign symbolize in Indian context? Uh, the the of ITC. Of military vehicles in India. Is it IC, ITC? Not ITC. Any other guesses? Kutub Minar. Number no. plates. Number plates of military vehicles in India. They have an arrow. Perfect. It's the no, number plates is the registered vehicle plates of uh, military vehicles. Question number seven. This is the song one eight zero zero the hot the suicide hotline. Is it? Perfect answer. It's the suicide hotline number, and it was Logic's talk or the suicide hotline the one eight zero zero number. The album, third album. Question number eight. Mailbox. The, mailbox. the tunnel mailbox. 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 Yeah. Okay. The mailbox is perfect. Till your answer has mailbox, you get points. Come on. I think. No, it's mailbox. Question number nine. Jagannath. Uh, the Jagannath. Yeah, the Ratiyatha chariots. Ten. Livingston. Jonathan Livingston. Jonathan Livingston. Perfect answer. It's Jonathan Livingston. And uh, question number 11. 
is this fantastic yeast and where to find it fantastic yeast fantastic yeast and where to find them yeah it's fantastic yeast and where to find them question number 12 ravan ravan perfect it's ravan 13 Is this mehroli iron pillar why it is not rusted? No. This is the pigment used for painting the cave paintings or something like that. No, it is. Uh, the explanation being why is the Casa Rosada pink in color? The residence of the head of or the director of the uh, or basically the country head of Argentina. That's called the pink house. Why is it called so? This is the possible explanation. This is holes Acne. in cheese, like holes in cheese. Yeah, these are the holes or eyes of cheese. Question fifteen. Hair. This is a hair dryer. They used to point hair dryer for people who would break the laws. Uh, but the perfect. Perfect. Out. These are hair dryers. <coughs> Question sixteen. Ima Wari. Ima Wari. This is Ima a Wari class. Their sister. Their sister named Ima Wari. Seventeen. What are the Roman and the hockey stick? Hockey stick. Perfect. Perfect answer there. It's the crowbar and hockey stick. Question eighteen. Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. Perfect. Nineteen. Is it sand? Is it bacteria? Agar. Like petri dish bacteria. Uh, Petri dish. Oh God. Petri dish. Yeah, the the base is basically petri dish. I'm looking for petri dish. Till your answer is petri dish, you get points. Last question. Tennis the menace. Tennis the menace. Tennis the menace. From Dennis the menace, it's tennis the menace. And they were the four four uh, tennis legends in that episode where Homer Simpson builds a tennis court. in his backyard and people ridicule him because he had zero tennis skills agar yeah. played question for question number 19 will agar played do sorry agar played it's, uh, it's a kind of petri dish only agar is the medium uh, not a petri no i i just want i wanted a materialistic thing that is the petri dish the base the on petri dish only they carry out the artwork they had the agar petri dish the Bacteria, whatever is the extra component, but basically they need the petri dish for starting the artwork. In fact, I just want petri dish. Will postal box get us points? No, I just I I told you now. Your answer should have a petri dish in it. That's it. You get other petri dish, the biological petri dish, chemical petri dish, chemistry lab petri dish, whatever. But I just want a petri dish answer. So yeah, uh, the an the answers are already given. Another plate is a petri dish. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get you. He's saying that the other plate is the petri dish. Yeah, you can. It it was. Have you written other plates? So it's a specific kind of petri dish, where okay. agar dish is just a medium. Okay, agar plates is also fine. On a generic basis, I wanted a petri dish. If you have specifically mentioned that agar plate, in fact, that is the agar petri dish or the agar plate used. So as the answers are already revealed, we'll be revealing the scores uh, and the top eight by tomorrow morning by sharp ten o'clock. We'll get to know who the finalists are, and I expect a high cutoff. Excuse me. Yeah, sure. Uh, can you please share this uh, questions? Sorry. I think you want. To Will you share this quest questions in WhatsApp as a PDF? We want the questions. Is it possible? We'll, we'll send it after the quiz gets over. In fact, uh, you don't. You might not need these questions. These are already on a YouTube live video, so you can search them anytime. Just opening the YouTube and going to the channel. 
and yeah do subscribe nambi sir's channel yeah definitely i will subscribe so yeah we'll uh, get to you tomorrow morning with uh, the top 8 and the final rules as well thanks sir the uh, research for the questions were like very top notch and also i don't know who made the screens but the font the colors everything was like very well uh, done thank you so we'll be starting with the finals tomorrow at 6:45 and we'll be completing winding up by 8 o'clock so see you tomorrow thank you everyone thanks everyone see you bye